Are you fucking serious? I thought you wouldn't do this with me if you knew that she was using. You think? Drugs was something Abilene did. It's not who she was. But it is how she died. Which is what we were investigating. I thought there was more to this. I thought that you and I would get to know each other and that would be cool. I, maybe it was part of the grieving process. Denial? Isn't that one of the 12 steps of grief? It's five stages of grief, 12 steps to recovery. But I understand that everyone here is more familiar with the latter. It's complicated. It's not. It's actually very simple. Everything here is actually really simple. And maybe that's why it took me so long to understand it. Well, I was following my heart, and that's what we do around here. You follow your heart. Yeah. Well, maybe it's time to look around and ask yourselves how that's working out for you. Maybe you should try following your brain for a change, because when you follow your heart, the earth is flat. Climate change is a hoax. Vaccines contain microchips. And Mexican drug dealers killed your sister. You invent these insane fucking narratives to explain why your lives are such shit shows because the truth is too scary for you to face, which is that you did it to yourselves. Do you know what people say about you guys where I'm from? Let me guess, bad things. No, worse. We say good things. We took them seriously when we should have taken them literally. You're neither. You're not serious people. And maybe it's time for you all to take us seriously and literally because where I'm from is fun and interesting and the people are rich and diverse. And meanwhile, your town looks like this. Bless your heart. Oh, and I know what that means. So you know what? Bless your heart. Bless your heart. Bless all your hearts. All your hearts can go bless themselves. Who are you to talk to us? I had to drag you to her fucking funeral. Who are you? If your car would have blown up in Brooklyn, would anyone, anyone come to help you? First of all, I wouldn't have needed a car in Brooklyn. Second, if I had one, I doubt it would have been blown up by God knows who. I don't understand you people. You people's microaggression. My apologies. Y'all. Y'all is a cultural appropriation. <laughs> Paris, you accusing someone of cultural appropriation is cultural appropriation. <laughs> Why wouldn't you look after her, check in on her? You wouldn't do anything for her, would you? That's right. I wouldn't. I was hooking up with different people, and I assumed she was too because I live in the real world, and that's what everybody does. I tried to tell you this when you called. She wasn't my girlfriend. She was just a girl in my phone. Now you've been in a fight. <laughs>